Good morning, folks. We'll be going over the space weather happenings of the last day, checking out a gamma ray survey animation from NASA, see a galactic plane survey, and review a story making its rounds on the internet. But we are starting with the last 24 hours on our star. We've got the sunspot surge still ongoing, and we've had a mid-level M-class solar flare this morning. Several large plasma filaments remain on the disk as well. While the new sunspots continue to grow and crackle with C-class flares, it was actually one of the older, more established sunspots that unleashed the M-class flare on the right side approaching the limb. No significant news about that event off to the side, but the sunspots do remain the primary item we're watching here today. We have several beta magnetic groups right now as we shift from the visible photospheric appearance to the magnetic view of the sunspot polarities. The truth is that as of this morning, there's only minimal magnetic mixing there, which is why they haven't released bigger flares. But of course, that can change in as little as an hour, so we'll continue monitoring those active regions today. While we monitor the sun for X-ray solar flaring, let's go next to the gamma ray flaring from the all-sky image. Fermi has released this catalog visualization in relation to the galactic plane. If you can spot the moving source, that is the sun. There are now thousands of known and cataloged gamma events from all over the sky here, with the highest concentration being in the galactic plane itself. In a bit closer look at that galactic plane, a new survey by Meerkat is showing fine detail within the plane. It is only when you take this deeper dive do you realize just how much more energetic the plane region is, including all the nova remnants peppering that area as well. Surveys like this one are why they now say they are catching probably less than 10% of the actual nova events and very, very few of the tiny ones, the mini and micro nova blasts. Lastly, folks, this story about the magnetic field going haywire 3,000 years ago is causing all sorts of speculative and hyperbolic stories to be pushed out on the net. Folks, we have gone over the Levantine Iron Age anomaly many times on this channel, so we'll review it again now. It was the peak of strength in the magnetic field about 3,000 years ago. It is not unknown or a mystery. If you're at this channel, chances are you know we had a mini geomagnetic excursion and weak trough of the field 6,000 years ago. We are heading into another geomagnetic excursion right now, and that this happens on about that 6,000 year time scale. Well, in the middle of those excursion events at about the 3,000 year mark, the field does the opposite, hits its high point. That is all they're seeing in this study, folks, and the most important aspect of it is a reminder that we are on time now again as we are watching the next excursion develop on Earth today. Don't forget, folks, all our books in PDF form are now discounted for the holiday season. Grab them at the link below. And there are still a few tickets remaining for Phoenix on January 13th. We're going to go into some serious topics and have special guests as well. We'd love to see you out there. Tickets are at the link below. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.